What's going on everybody? Welcome to this video. I want to tell you everything that you need to know about the Terror Thorn, especially about how to attack it and what you can get from attacking it. So let's start with the best free to play lineup that you can use to hunt the Terror, Th uh, Terror Thorn. So you are mainly wanting or only wanting to use um, attack damage heroes. So we are going to use the tracker, the um, demon slayer shade, even though I only have them in um, without a frame or I'm not going to use shade because I only at, I, I do not have him fully ranked up. So I'm going to use the um, Scarlet Bolt instead, then the Black Crow and the Trickster. So those are my five heroes that I'm going to use. Um, if you have the Shade fully ranked up, then you should probably use him instead of the Trickster. Um, same goes for the Death Archer. So if you have her fully ranked up, then you should probably use her instead of the trickster. But I do not have this, so let's just go with this lineup and see how much damage we are going to deal. And there we go. As you can see, when I check my news box, I got 85, almost 85% damage. So let's um, check out the overall best lineup as soon as my party is back. So let's replace the heroes. Of course, there's also a best pay-to-play hero lineup, but you are just going to replace the Femme Fatale if you have her with the Tracker. So that's all. Um, so the best pay-to-play lineup, if you have all the heroes available, is Femme Fatale, Shade, Demon Slayer, Scarlet Bolt, mm -hmm. and the Black Crow. Okay, so... Let's just deploy my overall best heroes and then see how much damage they are going to deal. So we did 45% damage um, with my overall best lineup compared to the 85% with the raw attack damage lineup. So you can see there is quite a difference. And now let's have a look at the equipment that you can get from hunting the terror thorn so there we go there are in total four um, things that you can get uh, out of the terror thorn first of all the terror lash which is to be honest quite nice and is um, pretty easy to get um, at least it is easier to get uh, compared to the terror shield and it gives you um, Infantry attack and infantry defense and what I especially like is ca army capacity because I'm a huge gatherer so I think this is um, Yeah, I think that's that's quite nice um, Next up the terror vial um, Is for also infantry attack and infantry max HP and it also increases your whole army defense but for me, the most important thing is that um, you get a better ore production rate. So I think that's quite nice. I also have it in my um, in my equipment parts when I am AFK. So when I'm just letting my production go. And the Terra Blade, I think it is not very good because there are way better offhand weapons than, um, than the Terror Blade. Last but not least, um, the Terror Shield is very nice. Um, is, is, this is increasing your research speed by 11.2% and is also the strongest armor in um, relation to the research speed. So you, this is a must-have and you should always get this. And it is also very very important for your infantry because it increases your attack by almost 50 percent and also your infantry max hp by 35 percent and your whole army max hp so i think that's quite nice 
but it also takes quite some time uh, to upgrade this because as you can see you need terror thorn seeds and quite a lot of them and it is not that easy to get them from hunting the terror thorn so that's it that's everything that you need to know about the terror thorn if i missed on anything please let me know in the comments below if there is anything else about Lord's Mobile that I should also cover in a tutorial or another video, also let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I hope that this video was helpful and see you in the next video. Bye!